Many people have tried searching for the secret to immortality for centuries which has only led to one failure or the other. Human beings seem to have been beaten to it by animals to an extent at least. Today we will be looking at 11 animals that can live after that. How exciting is that? Hello and welcome to our channel. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Let's begin. Number 11. Cockroaches. We are no strangers to these household rodents. Cockroaches are famous for their tenacity and are often believed as the most likely creatures that will survive a nuclear war. No kidding. This is because they can survive under conditions other organisms can't. Some of us can testify that these insects can survive without their heads, not just survive but can live for weeks without a head. Here's why. First of all, cockroaches don't bleed a lot like humans when their heads are cut off. They have an open circulatory system, with little or no blood pressure so if their heads get cut off, the wound closes naturally due to clotting. Secondly, cockroaches don't need their heads to breathe like humans. They do this through the little holes called spiracles which are located on their bodies. Although these cockroaches without heads will die eventually out of starvation, it will only be after a few weeks. Number 10, Chickens. In 1945, a chicken named Mike lived for 18 months after being beheaded. Chickens have a different central nervous system from humans, some basic bodily functions are controlled not by the brain but by certain parts of the brainstem. Hence when a butcher chops off a chicken's head too high most of the time, the brain stem and cerebellum are left behind while the forebrain falls off with the head. Thus, chickens can run around with their heads cut off. Mike's owner didn't cut low enough on the chicken's neck, leaving behind the brain cells that kept the chicken alive. Number 9, Bees. Bees make this list for a reason. This is because although a bee is dead, you can still be stung by it. Not in the sense of the bee still flying around and trying to sting you. Dead bees obviously can't go flying. But their sting as well as their venom delivery system will still be quite active even if the bee is long dead. When a person has been stung by a bee, this bee sting detaches from its body, leaving behind a tiny muscle that pumps the venom out. This muscle has an involuntary impulse so it's not safe to pick up a dead bee. You will get stung. Number 8, Salamanders. Salamanders tend to be very disturbing, with their ability to regenerate any part of their body that has been chopped off. Creepy, I know. These regenerated or regrown parts function exactly as or even better than the original parts that were cut off. This is because salamanders have a special protein found in them which helps to facilitate the regeneration of cells. Humans have this protein but in really small amounts. Number 7, Flies. Did you know that you can freeze a fly for days and after giving them some heat, they return to normal? This is because flies are capable of going into suspended animation. Flies, most especially female flies can live for several days without their heads. They can still fly around normally but they assume an upright stance, unlike normal flies. Number 6, Octopus. Octopuses have nine brains, one in their head and one in each limb. An octopus after being chopped up continues to move. The reason octopuses' arms continue being mobile after being chopped off is because of the uniqueness of their central nervous system. Most of an octopus's nerve cells are found in its tentacles. Thus, even if these arms are no longer connected to the main brain cells, they continue to react to stimuli and remain responsive for up to a week even after the octopus itself is long dead. Number 5, Frogs. You might want to hold on tight to your seat for this one. It has been discovered that frogs continue to move around even if their brain is dead. This means that if you get a frog and take out its brain, this frog will continue leaping around like a normal frog with its green matter perfectly intact. Pinching its feet will make it hop away, putting it in water will make it swim to the side, and you can even get it to croak intently if you stroke its back. It behaves sort of like a frog zombie. These zombie-like tendencies are due to the power of reflex reactions which fire the necessary electrical impulses that cause a muscle to expand or contract. Number 4, Snakes. Snakes are cold-blooded animals called ectoderms, which rely on external sources to regulate their body temperature. It might be news to some people that snakes can still kill you with their heads chopped off. 
This is because the snake's fangs and its venom sacs are still very intact on the snake's head which can bite you, delivering deadly venom even if the head is no longer attached to the body. The snake possesses some heat-sensitive pits at either side of its face which it uses to detect any threat. These heat-sensitive pits can detect threatening presence for hours after the snake dies. This means that the snake's head will be able to defend itself even after the snake dies and can bite you if you try to pick it up or get too close. Once a Texas man decapitated a diamondback rattlesnake with a shovel, he was shocked when he went to throw out the head and it bit his hand, almost killing him with a massive amount of venom. Number 3. Turtles. It may be a known fact that the hearts of fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals alike have certain cells that take over when the brain cells stop sending signals. Because of this, the heart still functions for a while even when the brain is not functioning. Turtles took this fact to a whole new level. Turtles have slow metabolisms which help to sustain their organs for long periods, making their lifespan as long as possible. Their brain cells need small amounts of oxygen that make them able to function for days and weeks and possibly longer without oxygen. In an experiment, an Italian physician took out the brain of a turtle and it still lived for six months. He then removed its head and surprisingly it survived for almost a month. Another unusual thing about turtles is that their hearts will continue to beat for up to 12 hours after being removed from their bodies. Number 2. Flatworms. Flatworms also known as planarians are known as masters of regeneration and there's a reason why. These flatworms can rebuild any part of their bodies after they've been chopped off. If a flatworm is cut in half, the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head, creating two whole flatworms. Cut one flatworm into ten pieces and you get ten whole worms. Each is an exact copy of the first flatworm you cut open. The Nottingham University scientists took it upon themselves to explore these worms and ended up creating a colony of more than 20,000 worms all from one original whose organs do not appear to age. These scientists are convinced that a single worm that did not divide would live forever unless it catches an infection or another illness. These worms are immortal beings living with us. Number 1, Jellyfish. In the Mediterranean Sea lives a jellyfish with an extraordinary ability. The so-called immortal jellyfish or Turritopsis dornii can somehow reprogram the identity of its cells, bringing them back to an earlier stage of life. You heard that right? This jellyfish can age in reverse and morph into an adult back into a baby. This is a survival mechanism that plays out when it gets old, sick, or is in danger. Once the jellyfish reverses, it turns back into a polyp. A polyp is a plant-looking structure that attaches itself to a surface underwater, the jellyfish can do this again and again. A team of researchers recently got their hands on the jellyfish's DNA trying to better understand the communication between the cells and the creature. They believe that the secret of life reversal might only be found after the creature's full genome has been discovered. If humans could somehow tap into this transdifferentiation process, could we regenerate too? We heal from scars and bruises, we even regrow hair, fingernails, and toenails. What are the possibilities? We have come to the end of this very interesting video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bells for more updates. Thanks for watching.